Welcome to First Gear, I'm your host, David Fedor. We're here today at Smell Honda in Greensburg, PA. We're gonna review and test drive a vehicle. The thing is, I'm not a salesman, I'm not really a car guy. The way I like to learn about cars is by getting into them, by pushing all the buttons, pulling the levers, checking out all the features, because that's what you're gonna use every day and that's how you're gonna do it. So today, we're here, super excited, because we get to review the all new, redesigned 2017 CRV. We just got these this week. It's redesigned. Let's do this. This is first gear. All right, so before we jump in and take a look at the interior, let's do one lap around and take a look at the exterior because this is a big deal. This 2017 CRV has been redesigned. All new front end, very angular, very aggressive looking, very sporty looking car. We're on the side here, you see the gas tank and the gas cap, the gas access on the driver's side of the car. We look at the back, check out how cool this looks. I love these tail lights. In the back here, you'll notice the dual exhaust, that's new. We have the trim along the side and check out those tires. And then of course at the top, you got the racks and the sunroof. Of course, another thing about this redesign, this 2017 CRV, is the engine. We got the first ever turbocharged engine in a CRV. Let's pop the hood and take a look. Like I said, big time turbocharged engine. That's fantastic on this. The technical features, I'm going to read them off the sticker right now. We have 190 horsepower, 1.5 liter, 16 valve direct injection, turbocharged four cylinder engine. And another huge thing, the fuel economy on this is insane. Average combined highway city, 29 miles per gallon. That's 27 city, 33 highway on an SUV this size. Are you kidding me? That's crazy. That's crazy. Let's go in and take a look at the interior. Let's take a look at this interior. Before we get too far in, we have the heat going because it's cold out, it's winter time. Let's take a look at the doors and then we'll work our way in. You can see beautiful wood trim on the interior. You have your door handles, your seat controls, windows, mirrors. And at the, I'm gonna stand in front of here. You can see this nice padded leather with the stitching on the armrest. Very nice. We've got the speaker and then nice section with a cup holder on the door. Another little speaker here. And then while we're here at the door, let's hop outside and take a look at the mirror. Actually, let's just put this down. We can look through here. You can see we got the lane sensors here on the side so that uh, you could take a look at your driving modes. We'll take a look at that when we're driving. As we work our way in, we could see on the left side of the steering wheel all the more sensors, all the things that you could turn off, like the forward collision mitigation. We got the lane, uh, lane keep assist functions to release the back hatch and then the anti-skid here. On the actual steering wheel itself, the steering wheel, very soft. All this nice stitching in here, very nice. And then of course, with the thumbs, your controls for your menus, for your music, all your information here. Seeing here on the front, we have the digital displays for the dashboard. Gives you your miles per gallon, or not, I'm sorry, miles per hour. Lets you know that the doors open, things like that. On the right side, we have our windshield wiper controls and then the light controls. All right, so we have the nice digital display here in the center with all of your controls, touch screen. You can take a look at your home menus. We have navigation, phone, settings, audio, all kinds of things. You can connect your smartphone. You know, everything here. You can see your navigation settings right here on Route 30 in Greensburg. Working our way down, you could see the climate control settings here. And you could hear it as we turn it up and down the drive shaft here we got the 
different drive settings. You could even put it into different modes. Something cool here on the side, we have the park, the parking brake and the brake release and the brake hold, I should say. So that's while you're driving, if you're at the you know red light or whatnot, you could just pop that on. Uh, but the electronic brake is easy because and fun. You don't have that giant, the giant one taking up all the space here in the middle. I'm gonna take a look here. Nice, nice compartment here, and has a nice little texture to it, so your stuff isn't gonna slide around as much. And a little crumb tray that pulls out. It's hard with the gloves, but we got the 12 volt battery or 12 volt charger access. And then the cup holders and another textured thing here where you can put your phone so it's not sliding around. Looks like this might, it does, slides back. We got some things in here, some Ziploc baggies with some screws in it. That may come with your car, may not, I don't know. But that pulls back to reveal some more chargers and we have all your USBs down here. So we have two USBs, I'm sorry, one USB, uh, another connection and then another power outlet. So those are all right down in there. Coming up here, we have a nice padded armrest with some detailed stitching. Open that up and we see a deeper connection. And this says here, removable. So this, wow, okay, this whole bad boy here comes out. So if you don't want that extra lid, you could just have this completely open like that. So that's pretty neat. I like it. I like it in there. So we're going to leave it in there. And then does this come open too? Is there a secret compartment in here? No, ah, no, it just slides. So this slides to give you a little bit more elbow room whenever you're driving. So that's nice. Nice stitching, nice leather to it, which matches the seats. Let's take a look at those. These are nice very soft very nice stitching and you can see perforations because they are heated seats as well those buttons are right up here underneath here so you got the heated seats to keep you warm in the winter time like this if we work our way across the dashboard as well again a lot of this is all redesigned you got that wood trim gives you a nice touch of elegance and class Let's take a look at the glove compartment that opens up. Any nice space there for some storage. Very nice. If we take a look up, we could see we have a, ooh, look at that. You have your uh, space for your glasses, but then also a mirror. So let me see if we can get that to be. So you could take a peek in your back seat, have a little bit more view of what's going on back there instead of looking here. So that's, that's pretty nice. You also have your uh, garage door openers built in there so you could program those. You have your lights that are on and then your sunroof opening and tilting. Uh, oh, look at that. All right, wow, a lot of room back here. Let's look at the doors first, then I'll climb in. We have same type of soft leather stitching, leather padding. We have the detail on the door, like in the front. We have the window controls and the handle, cup holders, speakers, things like that. Very nice, very soft leather seats back here as well. They match the front. I'm six foot three, as well documented if you're a fan of these videos. If I could sit back here very comfortably a ton of headroom i'm 6'3 six, 6'4 six, with a big shoe and i could sit here my hair is not even touching the top of here so very spacious i was just sitting up front just sitting in the driver's seat very comfortably able to sit and extend my legs and i have a you know six foot three passenger in the back seat with enough leg room to fit you know a seven foot tall person that's pretty impressive nice big seats here on the back of the passenger seat we have a pocket and then of course on the back of the console we have some more heating or cooling and then a couple more chargers here for your passengers in the back so they could also plug in their devices if they need to uh, take a look again at the seats 
same type of seats we got the latches down here for the car seats and extendable headrests and then this bad boy let's take a look to see what this folds down into oh very nice we have a nice padded armrest with a built-in cup holders so those are right there one for each of your passengers all right let's take a look back here another cool thing 2017 crv redesigned one of the awesome things they added whoo, whoo, how easy is that? How awesome is that? If you're walking up to your car and you need to put your stuff in the back here, you got your hands full of all your groceries that you just bought, all you have to do is wave your foot underneath and it opens up the tailgate. And look how big and how massive this cargo space is. We have the tonneau cover already here. I'm gonna put that back and put that down to show how much cargo space and cargo area you have. That's impressive. Of course, we have the latches on the side here. These are gonna put the seats down. We're gonna wait for that. We're gonna look at this stuff first though. So we have all this room, all this cargo space. Everything's carpeted real soft, real nice in the middle here so that if you have stuff laying down, it's not gonna scratch up. You have the plastic things on the sides here. These are neat. It looks like there's an additional little latch with this little attachment that pulls this here is you know flexible so when you pull on it it allows you to add this attachment so if you're carrying anything and you don't want it sliding around in your back seat or your back cargo area it creates a little pocket there that's really neat we have the speakers built in another one of these over here i'm going to lift this up take a look wow that's a nice large full-size spare with all your changing tools that you need whenever you're carrying things you can just close this you close the door and then you have some privacy people don't see what's underneath here because it's none of their business that's your stuff that's not their stuff tell them hey look at somebody else's car this stuff is mine so say you need to uh, transport something else all this does pull this back you know that comes right out and then you could put these back seats down. You could do it like that with the latch on the back, or you could do it with this handle, pops it right down. So that gives you all this capacity, all of this area that you could fill up with anything that you're buying. Lumber, plants, tons and tons of groceries. You got your kids' sports bags. You could all throw it in there. It's so big. It's so long. Again, we already established, I'm six foot three. I'm laying down in the back here. My feet are on the bottom here. My head comes to right up on the back seats. So you have like six full feet of Dave length. All right, you ready? Let's take this thing for a test drive. <laughs> I, that never gets old. That is so fun. Let's get this bad boy on the road. One thing, cool that I saw just popped up now is the driver attention level and a little coffee cup there so that's going to keep track of how you drive and uh, and determine whether or not you need to take a break let's take this thing on the highway now wow very very smooth very smooth drive That acceleration is nice as well. So it's got that turbocharged engine in there. And with the new redesign, they also made changes to the chassis and the body. So we actually have a wider, wider drive. They also changed the front end to make it a little bit more aggressively aerodynamic. Gives it a better, more sporty drive to it. It's very spacious, very nice interior, very comfortable. Everything is so soft, this leather, these seats. And it's so smooth. We get into some of these cars, some of these SUVs, they're a little bit larger. They kind of drive like a bus a little bit. This drives so smooth. I have the heated seat on right now. Very comfortable, especially in the wintertime like we are now. This is the perfect time to upgrade to something to make your butt warm.
We came off the highway onto the back road a little bit now. We're going around these turns. Everything's handling very well. It's responding very well. We didn't move or adjust the seat once since we started this video. I'm sitting comfortably in the front seat with enough leg room. I'm 6'3". That's a tall dude. This is a very spacious vehicle. I have no problems getting in or out of this vehicle. Any kind of leg room in the front or in the back seat. It's turbo engine. A lot of people might say, oh, four cylinders. That's not enough. This thing, watch it smoke this hill. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. That turbo engine, nice. So as you can see, as we're pressing our gas pedal and using more gas, we just went from green to white. And then we take our foot off the gas pedal and we're coasting and we're driving more efficiently. It goes back green, showing us the fuel efficiency of how we're driving. And again, at impressive miles per gallon, city and highway, 29 combined. That's ridiculous. All right, so as I'm driving, if my hands are off the wheel, it's saying lane departure, and it just nudged me, shook the wheel, and saying steering required. Did you catch that? So it alerted me, shook the wheel to get my attention because I was drifting over into the lane. We're gonna test it out again. We're gonna drift to the right a little bit now. It says lane departure, shook, shook the wheel, and I had to grab the wheel to come back on. If we look at our mirrors here on the left, as this car's passing us, if I wanted to change lanes, it lit up on the mirror and beeped, alerting you that there is somebody in your blind spot. All right, let's test out the turning radius of this bad boy. It's not the largest SUV, so it could handle that U-turn without a problem at all. That was very slick. Now let's test out this sunroof here brings the light in, makes it nice, brings that outside in. We have this wide visibility, like it's a very, very open driving experience. This A-frame here is a little smaller on this redesign, so we have a ton of visibility all the way around. Our heck, let's just open it all the way. <laughs> I'm feeling none of that. In the backseat, you might. But my hair's not even moving. Woo! It's quiet. I could, there's no wind back there either? That's incredible. So this is a very nice sunroof. Opens up. I could hear Brian in the backseat. We're having a conversation. There's no wind. It's not offensive or intrusive at all. And of course, this also comes with the backup camera. So if we put it in reverse, you could see the camera lights up. As you turn your wheel, your guides turn with you to show you where you're gonna end up, where you're gonna go. So if we're aiming for this spot right here, in front of Smale Honda, you could just use the backup camera to guide you back. Of course, you always want to check your mirrors and look the old school way as well. But even that dotted line tells you how close to the curb you are and when you should stop. Can't be simpler. So that's been our review and test drive of the Honda CRV. It's an amazing vehicle. I definitely recommend coming down, taking a test drive for yourself. Check out smellhonda.com if you have any other questions or need more information. Of course, you can leave comments in the comment section below. We love hearing from you. Check out our playlist of other First Gear episodes. Really appreciate it. Love this car. This has been First Gear.